and the items that were requested to be produced? Just now, yes. Okay. And you understand there's a court order that indicates that you have to produce these items? Yes. Okay. For item number two, oh, well, where we're asking for, for um, I'm sorry, let's go back to item number one, where we're asking for bank statements, would you agree that when somebody does a direct wire transfer from their account to another account that there would be a bank statement that would reflect that for the receiving party? Uh, of course. Okay. Yes. And you can, can you produce, consistent with the subpoena, um, the bank statements would show Deborah Frazier's wire transfers? Yes, of course. And do you want to tell me, is that still the 30-day? Yeah, we'll produce them within 30 days prior to the January 9th date if the documents exist. He's indicated they do. So you have bank statements that show wire transfers if they were given from Deborah Frazier's account? Yes. Okay. Um, and I understand that on bank statements, it may not um, show only Deborah Frazier's deposit being made, but you obviously have bank statements that show um, various deposits that are made that would include Deborah Frazier's. Yeah, well, yeah, if she wired it. Um, I'm not talking about wired one. Okay, yeah, she gave a check or cash. Right. All of that's recorded and it's all uh, itemized. Yes. All right, so you would, you would be able to tell me in what deposit those checks went into? Of course. And yes. you could provide me the bank statements? Of course. Yes. If that's appropriate. Well, that's what's been requested okay. and ordered. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and all records showing how Mrs. Frazier's donations, this is item number two, uh, how they were spent. Um, including cancel checks, invoices, et cetera. Now, when she makes donations, she has designated for what purpose? For example, uh, Rosh Hashanah. What would Rosh Hashanah be? It's, uh, it's a Jewish holiday um, that we, as Christians, observe, you know, on the Jewish calendar. It's a quite... Um, celebrated holiday in Christian community in, in a, some circles, large circles, but not everyone does it. So when Mrs. Frazier made donations that were designated as Rosh Hashanah, my subpoena deuces take them asks for uh, cancel checks, invoices, check registers, bank statements, etc. that would back up those donations being spent for that purpose. Yeah, that Rosh Hashanah is not um, so much a statement for the purpose of the money being used. It's a, it's a holiday, and it's designating when she gave an offering, like everyone else. So it didn't go for the purpose of Rosh Hashanah in any way? Well, Rosh Hashanah is not, it's a holiday. It's a service called Rosh Hashanah. It's right. no, like when I, you know, take up an offering for a specific thing, then, you know, like if I say, we want to raise offering for an 18 wheeler truck, then, and I say, we're going to use this money for that, then it goes directly to that. This is a service such like a Sunday morning service or Easter service, and you don't purposeful when the people give donations, you don't say where it goes to the Easter egg, you know. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's a, the Rosh Hashanah is the name of a Jewish holiday. No, I'm, I'm aware of purpose. that. Okay, great. How long uh, do you think Rosh Hashanah lasts? How many days? Uh, Ten days, normally. Now, one of her donations is listed as a money order. Mm -hmm. And would you have deposited that in the, into the general fund? Yeah, I'm sure it would go there. 
All right, and you can produce a bank statement that would correlate with that deposit? We have everything on record. Okay. <laughs> when she talks about a leadership conference in Taylor, yeah. what would that money be related to? Well, you know, I, there are different services that are held, and we have people who attend those services, and they give in those services. So when you see leadership is designating the type of service we're having, or if, do that make sense? So you have a specific service called a leadership conference? Yes, where I teach leaders. And do people have to pay to go into that service? No, everything is free. They donate freely in the offering. Now, is there a reason you didn't bring the documentation that backs this up because you say it exists? Uh, yeah, I, it's not a reason we didn't. I, I just think that maybe my office didn't quite understand everything that was asked for in detail, like you're asking. But it's no problem. We can provide that. All right. When you when you say your office, yes. Where would that be? Um, I have an office here in Taylor, Michigan. And what? What's that address? Um, twenty three twenty. What is that? Uh, Superior Road. What's, what are the numbers? I'm saying 20, I think, 320. 20320. Wait a minute. Superior Say it again. 20320. Okay, five digits? Yeah. Okay, Superior? Road. Mm -hmm. And that's Taylor? Michigan. Mm -hmm. Is this designated as an office on the outside of the building? Uh, I, I'm sorry, what are you saying now? When you look at this 20320 Superior Road in Taylor, mm -hmm. what does the outside of the building look like? Does it say JMMI? Does it, what does it say? Yeah, it says JMMI. JMMI? And do you take up the entire building? Um, for what now? For what JMMI, you? for your office. Um, we don't have to use the entire building for office facilities. We just use part of it. What's the rest of the building used for? Having services. Is this the church in Taylor that you go to? Um, I don't understand what you're asking. Can you rephrase? Will you? Isn't there a church that you give services out of in Taylor? Oh, yeah, on Sunday. But, yeah. Is that this same building? We Yeah, we let them use the building on Sunday morning. <laughs> Okay, when you say we let them, who's we and who's them? Uh, JMMI owns the building, and um, there's a church called Kingdom Family Church that, you know, they are just getting started, so so they don't have a large overhead or nothing like that. We allow them to use the building on Sunday, since I use the building more so for massive conferences and services, things like that. When did JMMI purchase this building? Um, I think that was in maybe two years ago. Yeah, a over a little over two years ago. So they have a mortgage? No, it's paid off. So did these uh, Kingdom? I'm sorry, was it Kingdom Family? KFC, Kingdom Family Church. Um, do then they pay rent? Uh, not really, no. Hey, let me place an objection on the record. I've given a lot of latitude so far in this very brief deposition, but the objection is to relevance. Yeah. I don't know how this possibly relates to the Objection's issues noted. of parenting time and or spousal support. There's more to it than that. Okay, you can go ahead and um, answer the question. So when you say your office, are you referring exclusively to this 20320 Superior Road building? Yes. You do not have an office in any other city or state? Yes, we do. Okay, do you want to tell me about um, those? And, and we're getting those more established. One is St. Louis. Um, Another in Budapest, Hungary, Europe, uh, 
Korea, uh, Arizona. So. You have offices in those four places? Yes. All right, may I have the address of the St. Louis office? Um, we used to use a P.O. box for that. I want the, the actual street address. Um, well, we are just getting things established there for us before we get a building. So I usually use my P.O. box as an address for that. So to say that we have just offices in a public building like we, I usually use my Taylor residence for the professional um, address. All right, so, so wait, it's like the Taylor Residence? Taylor for, Building, Taylor Office Facilities. Yeah. Right, you used it as, a, you referred to it as a Taylor Residence. Do you uh, own a home? No, I'm sorry. I, I mean Taylor Building on Superior. Okay. It's, a, it's in a corporate area, so it's an office building. It's not a residence, sorry. Okay, but it's also used as a church by some people at least? Yes, yes, we, we allow churches to use it. Okay, so the office is, are you saying there is no physical place in St. Louis that your ministry operates out of? No, we, I mean a building physically. I used to have one, but not now. Uh, I moved all of my um, physical, you know, I want to say residence. What what word should I use? I use I moved all my physical place here in Taylor. So there's nothing in St. Louis anymore. Uh, a PO box. Well, Never. that does that. That's not a well, destination. Well, I'll go there. That's huge. It's massive. You know, it's you, you know. So when you say that's huge and massive, are you referring to the amount of mail, mail you get there? Well, mail, I mean, corresponding with people is very important to us. So that's big to us. But you don't have any place in St. Louis that you work out of or anybody else works out of? Um, we may work out of our little home or, or, or whatever with a computer. Or what do you mean something. your little home? What does that mean? Well, I mean, you know, like if I have a staff person until I, we raise enough money to buy another office facility in that area, then, you know, we do it out of, you know, my staff that is there, they do it out of the place they may live. So that's they what do I'm it saying. Out of, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear you. Do it yeah. out of the place that... Yeah, their little office that they have in there, the place they stay in at this time. You so mean that's somebody what I'm could be you. working technically, in your opinion, out of their home? Like you do out of yours, right? No, no. I mean, you have, I have a computer. An office. Yeah, I know, but you have a computer at your home, and you have an office. All right. Good evening, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday, right? It's Tuesday. Yeah, David's got the dingleberry dust. <laughs> this is the dingleberry deacon right here. David's all, uh, nobody knew at the time, but I was actually sitting in a maxi pad full of shit. Hey, yo, Anthony, that's my brother. What up, cuz? Yeah, we'll try to take it all. Anthony's like, yo, fuck that psycho bitch, Catherine Crick. He's like, I don't cuss, but hey, you know what? Alex will for me. Yeah, David is a textbook case of a con artist who sells snake oil gone, odd, gone wild. Going down. Exactly. We're going to look over this lawsuit tonight. We're going to look over the initial filing, okay? And for some of the new people that I've been chatting with offline, they've asked if we could kind of go ahead. Hey, Daniel, about the Bogdanov. What's going on? How you doing this evening? We're going to... Some people have asked if we could kind of do a revamp of what we've done with the channel, all right? So for those of you that are new to the channel, thank you, that I've been chatting with offline, that have been helping, and David, you're fucked, dude. Catherine, you're fucked too. Catherine, you're you're just as bad shape as David. You're you're probably in worse shape than David. Let me tell you that. All right, you just don't know it yet. But we're not about you tonight, Catherine. You're another night. You're fucking psycho. So David, all right. If anybody knows who David is or how where we all found David, where did everybody start at? deposition right here same thing why because this david's this, just before we get started too this is probably one of the most complex fucking multi-level schemes you have ever fucking seen hey thanks daniel appreciate it man thank you <clears throat> this is it really is this 
it's taken three, four years to peel this fucking peel, peel this onion, and it worked, and we found out everything. We found out everything. Now, nah, David's not dead. No, he's not dead, but he's very sick. We'll get into that. Um, yeah, defecation deacon. <laughs> he's the defecate deacon. <laughs> he's like, I need to go defecate. Deacon defecate. <laughs> All right, so this is where the the deposition started, okay? We have the first... The first deposition was given November 2014, all right? The deposition wasn't released until 2017, okay? So this deposition's coming up on 10 years, all right? It's taken us four years to get to where we're at. As long old as the channel, we got Colt Watch. Big shout out to Colt Watch, Apostle David E. Taylor Comedy Channel, who's done some fucking awesome content, and this channel, right, who have gone, made it a, a personal life's mission to make sure that he stopped, okay? Yeah. 10 years and about 100, 200 pounds ago. 10 years and 200 pounds ago was the depot. That's the best way to put it. David's on now. It's actually 300 pounds, okay? Because I'm actually 500 pounds now. All right, so we have the deposition. And the reason the deposition is here is because a lady by the name of Debbie Frazier gave this fucking walking diaper stain over a million dollars in a fucking divorce settlement, okay? Now let me tell you how we get to this right here. And this is fucking fact. This is not a lie. This is facts. I personally spoke to Rick Frazier. Okay, this was uh, April 20. It was pre-pandemic. We were just coming in the pandemic, I think. Maybe even a little earlier than that. I, I tried. It, it was in April, May, June sometime. I remember I was taking a nap on my fucking couch. I wake up and I see an email from Rick Frazier. Okay. And he's like, hey, you know, I've, I've been watching your channel. Can can we talk? I was like, yeah, I'll fuck, fuck, I'll FaceTime you right now. He immediately FaceTimed him. Okay, I FaceTimed him right then and there because he had, a, I, he had he has Apple products, so I FaceTimed him. And I was like, hey, what's up, man? We get to talking. Overall, we talked. It was very, Rick was a very nice guy, okay? Yeah, you should have paid, you, David, you should have paid her back. You should have just gave her the 10% back. Rick is a very nice guy. Let me get that clear, okay? Rick is not a fucking pedophile. He did not fucking molest his kids. He has been nothing but a loving and providing father for his family. All right? But it doesn't defeat the the fact that Rick is also a scammer just like David. He just didn't get caught. All right? So. All right. So Debbie gives David a mil plus in a fucking settlement. Huge. It was, it was a nest egg. It was a fucking nest egg. Anybody in their right mind could have put that money in like a high interest fucking Roth or IRA or find some kind of bank that's giving good fucking percentages and dropped it in there and fuck bam just started bam making that money make money but no what does she do she gives it all to david e taylor okay now debbie goes back to rick and this is me and rick talking over facetime she's like he's like dude she came back to me he didn't get really like if he did i don't remember the time frame but he's like she came back to me not very long after asking me for more fucking money and she's rick this is again me and rick talking rick is like Where's all the money at, Debbie? Where did it go? Oh, well, I gave it to this this man, this pastor named David E. Taylor. Okay, well, if you want more money, where did the money go? I understand you gave it to him, but what did the money get spent on? I don't have a problem giving you more money, but I need to know where it went, Debbie. She wouldn't tell him. So he's like, okay, well, if you want more money, I'm going to depose you. So she they went through a deposition. Now, everybody has to remember, this was not a criminal deposition. David was merely a fucking witness, and we all know that. This was not criminal. Everybody needs to be real clear on that. David was just a witness. He was the one who received the money. Okay? Debbie was deposed. Michelle was deposed. Okay? And David. David, Michelle, and Debbie. Okay? They were all deposed. Now, Rick, again, this is what Rick's telling me. He's like, when all this was going down, he was like, I, I was in court. I was going into court to do all this paperwork and bullshit with David. He's like, I see David sitting in court. And he's like, I walk up to him. And he had one of the the guys sitting right there next to him. He's like, I don't know who it was. And he was like, the guy tells David, like, hey, that's that's uh, Debbie Frazier's husband, you know. And David kind of looks at him. And he's like, hi, I'm Rick Frazier. And he's like, hey, you know, I'm David. Nice to meet you. And he sits down next to David. He's like, so I sit down next to David and, I, and we get to talking. And he was like, hey, you know, that money was to help Debbie get a start, you know, um, is there any way you can just do the Christian thing and maybe give her back 10%, right? And David tells Rick, don't be ridiculous. 
That is what this fucking slimy piece of shit fucking dingleberry cocksucker tells him. Don't be ridiculous. Rick says, okay. Okay. He's like, if, if, if that's the case, I'm going to make this very difficult for you. And he did. He, this is what we have, the deposition. David, David not giving back 10%. This is why we have the deposition. Everybody want to know? Because he wouldn't give back 10%. He wouldn't do the right Christian thing and just give back 10%. Exactly. I didn't say that. His own rhetoric hurt his scam. Made himself look like a criminal with the way he talked about the deposition. Exactly. And what Cliff told us in the interviews, after David got through with the deposition, like that he just said his dick grew bigger from a fucking, from a pubic hair to a cunt hair, basically. Okay. He told me, he's like, nah, David's dick just got bigger. He was like, he felt untouchable after this. He felt untouchable. Well, David, when Rick releases the deposition to YouTube, right? I didn't come on to it until about 2018. It was released in 2017. By then, it is already picking up steam. Okay. People started looking more into you. And this is why we have the deposition, everybody. 10%. That's not a fucking lie. 10%. Because David was too fucking greedy. David, this is why we're here, buddy. 10%, motherfucker. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It is over 10 fucking percent what it says to give in the Bible. 10 percent. 10 fucking percent. And David, being the narcissistic, greedy sack of shit fucking donut eating deacon that he is, he's all, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. Don't be ridiculous, David. Guess what? Now you have the IRS involved. You have, uh, uh, David, I know, David, I'm not a stupid fuck. I know there's sexual abuse going on in your cult, you motherfucker. You sack of shit. Hey, Megan Fitzgerald. Devil tried to take it all away. Devil tried to take it all away. Okay, so kind of doing a revamp here. We're going to get into the lawsuit here in a bit. Okay, but this is why we have the de deposition. Exactly. 10% costed him everything, and it's possibly going to cost him his fucking freedom. David, 10% is going to cost you your freedom. I promise you, dude. 10%, David, is going to cost you your fucking freedom. You fucking slimy walrus. 10%. All you had to do was give Debbie back 10%. And you know what? These depositions probably wouldn't exist, David. But you're too fucking greedier. You're too much of an asshole. And you're too much of just a fucking narcissist to, to throw in the towel and be like, you know what? I fucked up. Yeah, you know what? I, I you probably If you would have given her back half, David, it, we would probably know never know who David E. Taylor is, man. I don't know, though. I'm a firm believer you would have fucked something up in your path eventually. And we would have found out who you are anyways. Okay? That's why we have the deposition, everybody. Ten fucking percent. That's a fact. That is exactly the words that came out of Rick's mouth. I asked him to give back ten percent. He said, don't be ridiculous. And he's, his reply to David, okay, this is, I'm going to depose you. <clears throat> you can. So this is why we have the deposition, all right? And if anybody hasn't watched it, I highly recommend you watch it. This is the full version right here. Uh, I'll pin the link in the channel. It's on a channel called uh, Shut the Muck Up. I am subscribed to his channel. This guy's pretty good. He's this is this guy's a good channel. Um, exactly. He saw how easy it was to to con Debbie, and he geared up on the con a bunch more of vulnerable people. Exactly. After he got this depot, he he did he. The story is he he grew a bigger dick. Either I clicked on some weird view or YouTube changed this setup. Where is the like button? <clears throat> Are you on a device, Megan? Are you on a device? Smash that like. I know it's 30 people, man. Y'all smash that like, guys. Selling miracle t-shirts now with a miracle cloth on Facebook. I called the hotline, but they blocked me. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to block everybody. They don't want you telling you guys. I've been finding out some information on David that it's it's extremely situation critical inside the cult right now, man. It's very dangerous at this place. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Now, on to the lawsuit. Now, what this lawsuit is about, let's go ahead and bring up the... Um, Let me do a revamp on the lawsuit here. <clears throat> okay. 
Uh, quickly, I want to. I just want to mention this before. We it should be right in the same spot, Megan. Look, it should be like right in the same spot. Bam. It should be in the same spot, Megan. Okay. Here we go. God, I just feel God's presence here so strong. Let me feel His presence so strong. The same miracles. Hey, Billy, what's well, up, brother? We have almost the whole second part of the box. <clears throat> okay, now this is the Amway Arena, okay? Now, David built this stage for the Amway Arena, but we all know he's not going to fill the fucking stage. He's not going to finish it. I know he should use that miracle cloth instead of a fucking maxi pad, right? <laughs> Save yourself some money, David. Use that miracle cloth. Miracle yourself out of some maxi pads, you smelly bastard. <laughs> fucking sick fuck, dude. All right, so the Amway Arena, this is real important, okay? This is a big factor in this. So David, and right after he did this, he went to movie prop rentals. Okay, we'll, we'll pull the lawsuit up here in a little bit. We'll pull an initial filing. Um, no, nah, you're good, mate. Nah, fuck, distract anytime, man. You guys know we're all here together, man. Don't even trip. You fucking distract me anytime. I'm easily distracted. All you gotta do is, hey, man. Be like, hey, what? <laughs> Exactly. The music manipulation to concoct the presence. I can't stand that. Exactly. Well, that's why I'm not going to play this. But now the Amway Arena, okay? David said he was going to fill this with fucking 20,000 people and heal all these people of cancer and all these trucks were going to come and take all this DME away. Hey, what's up, John K? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening. Hope you're having a good evening this evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is yours. Mia Quaco. 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 It is yours. Okay. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Jay? So the Amway Arena was David's idea of fucking a dumb idea of his dumb ideas. Okay. He said he was going to feel this. He did put money down to do a video on it so he could go and shoot his promo video. And then he aired that to social media saying he was going to do this arena. Okay. Now tr stay with me. Cause I'm going to keep going. I don't want to fucking backtrack. Cause it's just too much. Like we've gone over this so many times. And, and it, it, so he, he says he's going to do the arena. We have proof. He's done videos in it. Okay. Now what he does is he contracts his company to build a fucking stage. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Now, David, our group is smarter than you. Okay. I'm not going to say that many times, but David, we are smarter than you. You should have fucking listened to us. We should have been your fucking board, you dumb fuck. David, if you would have just listened to us, David, you, let me tell you something, dude. David, this group is a fucking machine, man. David, we have plugged your shitty ass ideas into real fucking software programs and computed the numbers. You know what the software programs say? You're fucking crazy, more or less, without saying you're crazy, Okay. David, you are insane to do this. All right, so he con he contracts his company, Movie Prop Rentals, all right? These guys are very well known in the, in the entertainment industry. There's there's very few companies like this that exist on the fucking planet, all right? There's one in the UK somewhere that's a sister company, all right? And then there's one in Florida, all right? Out of Gladeview, Florida. These guys are fucking professionals, you guys. These guys are riggers. These guys are contractors, carpenters, welders, metal workers, fabricators, uh, these guys do painting, sculpting, you're talking CNC labor, you're talking all kinds of very high skilled labor, something that David never has in his life. The only skill David has in his life is eating fucking donuts probably and, and shitting his fucking diaper, okay? So he contracts his company, Movie Prop Rentals, to build this stage, all right? And now the stage, all right, let me pull the lawsuit up. The initial filing for this lawsuit, okay, was... Uh, September 9th, 2022, right? Movie Prop Rentals versus Kingdom of God Global Church, Kingdom of God Global Church, and JMMI. Now, I always point out the fact that Joshua Media Ministries International has been revoked by the IRS, and that's a fact, okay? Let me just show everybody that it still has been revoked by the IRS and that it has, there, there's no, they're not going to change it probably anytime. Uh, 117 okay. Um, so here's Joshua Media Ministry, okay? It has been revoked, not once, but twice, okay? And here's the proof, okay? Now, we have a revoked exemption, right, that's listed on a lawsuit. Complications, right? 
this is that I, I don't I don't fucking get it. I don't fucking get it. Real Ken, let me tell you something about all this. I called and warned the company. I called and warned these guys. I fucking swear to God I did. I told them, I was like, hey, I'm not telling you guys to not make money. But I was like, dude, just be fucking careful. I was like, we're tracking these guys, man. This is not a joke. I had to call and tell them. I was like, look, this isn't a joke or a prank call, man. I was like, I know you guys are doing business with them. And I know you guys have signed NDAs. And I'm not looking for information. But this is who these guys are. And I'm telling you, be careful. Be careful. They're going to try to fucking dick you guys. That's exactly what I told them was all. They're going to try to fuck you guys. Be careful. Highly recommend you cross your T's and dot all your fucking I's with these people. Okay? I told them. Warn them. As a concerned fucking taxpayer because they are taxpayers. I was like, look, man, I pay taxes like you guys. I was like, I'm just letting you guys know what you're dealing with and who you're dealing with. It was all up to them at that point to make their own business decision, not mine. It's their business. I wasn't going to, they were going to make the money. Oh, Joseph testified. Yeah, Joseph was put under oath and testified. Joseph was put under oath and testified, you guys. He testified in this fucking case. He sends the least qualified idiot down there, right, to fucking testify in a federal fucking court. No doubt fucking Joseph perjured himself. It wouldn't surprise me. I guarantee. Joseph perjured himself. <clears throat> yeah, we're going through a timeline up to the case trip nine. Oh, and there's been other cases that David's been involved in too that we'll, we'll fucking talk about that are in correlation with this case. David was fighting two fucking cases at one time. It's insane. It's insane how much fucking money has been dropped on legal fees with these motherfuckers right here. I did. I warned them. I warned them, you guys. I swear to God I did. I, I, when I found out who they were, it took a little bit. It took a little bit, you guys. But we found out who they were. I called them. I'm not scared. Dude, we got a fucking phone right here. It was simple. Oh, this is where they are? Okay, let me fucking call them and just let them know who I am and what I'm doing. And that we're watching every fucking step. I told them that. I was like, we're watching. And here we are two years later. Yes, Joseph is the yes man. Exactly. Yeah, Joseph is the fucking yes man. Exactly. I tried to warn him, man. Anybody out there that's watching this stream that might be thinking about doing business with David E. Taylor or Michelle Brandon or Kingdom of God Global Church or JMMI or Marvels in America World Healing, guess what? Don't fucking do it. You're gonna get fucked. We've been out here warning you guys for the last four fucking years. Hey, these guys are scammers. They're frauds. They're gonna fuck you. We told them, we told them, we've been warning everybody about this organization that they are indeed a cult, laundering money, prostitution, possible sex trafficking. I know for sure prostitution debut, motherfucker. We know fucking Mahesh Express showed up and blew, blew your fucking cover. Yeah, Joseph got sent to the slaughterhouse. Exactly. I, I'm sure Joseph, and Joseph, you're supposed to have a fucking mental health degree. Dude, you got fucking butchered, I'm sure, on the fucking stand, Joseph. You're an asshole. You're, you're there just to fucking blow David. That's it. To fucking... David, Joseph, you're going to take the fall. And here's the thing. <laughs> David has done a very good job of keeping himself from signing shit, having his name on any kind of emails, paperwork. No, Everybody else but David is attached to this lawsuit. You, you're possibly aiding and abetting sex crimes and money laundering. Yes, We've been telling people. Now, we also know about the big property purchases, right? Let me go ahead and let me pull up Missouri Courts. Now, uh, here we go, Missouri Courts MO.gov. Okay, now we knew at the same time, right, that he was putting, he was fucking fighting a case with Harold Lewis. We knew that over the fucking residential center, right? Uh, case number search. So it's 18SL. So we'll do 18SL dash. CC 02174. Okay. Now, this will be the case regarding, okay, parties and attorneys. Anybody who wants to fucking, I'm not lying. Uh, let's, let's see. It's, okay. At this time, they lived at 1302 Wild Horse Meadows, 
but they don't that house is now sold they don't own it anymore okay they got out of that place they were actually running the scam out of this house and the hey javier mmi what's up brother they were running the scam out of this house and it got found out and they pretty much got kicked the fuck out all right so they don't own this house anymore so you have michelle on this and david as a defendant okay this is over 15400 Tim Page, the residential center. This was also a breach of contract. This case was fought for four fucking years, you guys. Four years, everybody. You're a fucking liar. You're a fucking liar. All right. Here's the dockets and entries. Uh, let's see. Descending. When was it originally filed? Yeah, 2018 was the original filing date, I do believe. Yeah, there it was, 2018. Okay. Remember what David told Michelle about Joseph? He's weak. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So they file this lawsuit, and this is all in conjunction, guess what, with this right here. We can go and look at dates on here and know that they were actually dealing with court issues with Harold Lewis at the same fucking time, that they were tr supposed to be making payments on this motherfucker right here. We've already looked at the dates. We could go on here and see here that they were making. Let's see. Let's check it out. Uh, let's take a peek here. Uh, there we go. I know for sure that they were making payments on certain dates. Four years they held this case up. All right. And at the same time, they also found themselves tied up in another fucking lawsuit at the same time. Within the same time, they were they were getting out of one lawsuit. So let's take a peek here. <laughs> they were getting out of one lawsuit. I don't. I I've, I dude, Mark Bradshaw. I heard. I've kind of seen it, but dude, I have to. I have to stay focused on this, dude. I can't. I have to be focused on this until it's done. That's just the way my brain works, dude. I've heard about the Mark Driscoll shit and this other pastor getting stabbed, but I have to stay focused on Catherine and David, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll get to Genesis 1-2 because we read 1-1 earlier. I'll get to 1-2 earlier, later today. I'll, I'll get to 1-2 after we leave. After yeah, Just remind me, Javi, I'll get to it, bro. For sure. I'll read Genesis 1-2 and I'll give everybody a tutorial on how to get to God, okay? It's really simple. It's really fucking easy. And you know what? All you got to do is open a book. And I'll show everybody. It's super easy, man. I'll even make some music to it, okay? All right, so 7-21-2022. David's getting out of one lawsuit. And then, oh, guess what? Look, he's being served another lawsuit two months later. And it's all for breach of contract. There is an insanely large amount of money that has been laundered through this organization. We've been filing fraud against the with the IRS, letting people know that they are laundering money, that there is prostitution, that there is sex trafficking going on. Prostitution, sex trafficking, they all go hand in hand. I'm not fucking dumb. If there's prostitution, guess what? There's drugs usually. That's usually how this shit goes with these organizations. This is a mob organization. They are operating very much like a mob organization. They have the main leader. They have all the fucking co-conspirators. I don't know what's up with the deck. I, I, I don't know what's going on with that other one, Trip 9. I don't know if they paid that, bro. I haven't heard anything on the one about the deck, bro. That one was for 100 k and I, I spoke to them, too. <laughs> I spoke to them, too. That guy said, hey, man, that shit almost fucking hurt me. He's like, that hurt me. He's like, I'm, I'm glad I got was able to pay my contractors. But y'all hit that like, man, if you're just getting in here. We're talking about um, David E. Taylor's federal lawsuit. Joseph... I don't know why the fuck... Joseph, you're the dumbest motherfucker in there. Joseph, you should have walked. You should have walked. I know David and Nature Boy are going to be sellies, man. They're going to both be sitting there. Are you happy? Are you happy? They're going to be like, I'm the prophet. I'm the prophet. I'm the prophet. Yeah, fucking Nature Boy and Dookie Deacon. You're going to have Nature Boy wipe your ass, David? It is. I know. Typically when prostitution gets involved, the whole, that means the Holy Ghost is really running. It is. And let me tell you something, like, that hotel is set up for, like, a fucking prostitution operation. It really is. David, did you think we weren't going to find out about all this shit? Honestly. Joseph, honestly, why would you take the fucking stand in this case? You are the least qualified person in that place. Honestly, Joseph. Joseph, you know what? This is a federal case. Dave, you guys think you aren't fucking, you guys think you can't, you don't adhere to the rules. 
Yeah, fucking glory boy. <laughs> fucking Daniel added. He's like, I got my glory squad here, everybody. You guys, like, I got my glory hole squad. Glory hole. Daniel's like, I love my glory hole squad. He's all, and Isaiah, he's the glory hole, okay? Yeah, glory boy. <laughs> fucking Daniel Adams. He's all, you're glory boy number two, okay? We don't want to hurt Keegan's fucking feelings, so he can't. He has to stay glory boy number two, okay? Okay, but just for the show, can he be glory boy two today? Okay? Fucking glory boy. Jesus Christ, man. These guys, I'm calling glory boy. <laughs> Uh, glory boys. Daniel's call. Uh, glory hole boys. <laughs> uh, nature boy's gonna give David some Siberian hickeys. Right? So this this whole lawsuit is is because David once again breached a contract, right? And now Joseph has testified in court openly, under oath, took a fucking oath, and testified. Whatever was said, we don't know yet. We're still trying to get that. We're going to try and get the transcripts if we can. Um, and we're going to try and see what happened to the case with, with what was said. Court was in session for eight hours yesterday, so they're paying a lawyer for eight hours of time. Okay. I think actually, you know what, Javi MMI, I think Chris and Uncle Jake are actually seeing, um, what is it, the Book of Mormon today at a play. It, I, Yeah. No, Uncle Chris and Jake are out tonight together. Yeah. Yeah, only difference between Nature Boy and David E. Taylor is that Christianity ha is David E. Taylor as Christianity protecting him from serious investigation. Yeah, Megan, you know what, though? He ain't exempt. Let me tell you something. Mm -mm. This piece of shit? No, let me tell you something, Megan. He's raised the eyebrows of a, eyebrows and ears of a lot of people, not just us, but other people. And I'll just say other people. Just putting that out there. Yeah, this fucking walking roller. He's going down, you guys. This is it. He is. He's fucked. Think, th think the amount of damage this fuck has done over the last forty fucking years, man. It's insane. It's insane. The the, the emotional damage, the negative impact that this one man has left on countless fucking lives is more than I, we can count. We stopped counting. We don't even know. We don't even know. How many lives this one man has fucking destroyed? It's insanity. I know that for sure. Marriages, relationships, finances, people's sanity. You're a fucking leech, David. You're a fucking con man leech of a piece of shit. That's what you are. Now, anybody who's curious about his other tax exemptions who's just tuning into the channel, here's his other one. This is Kingdom of God Global Church, 8111-95992. And yes, I remember all these tax exemption numbers, if anybody's wondering. I remember every single fucking one. And I remember Catherine's too now. All right, so they got their final letter. Okay, they got their determination letter. When did they get it? Let's take a peek here. They got their determination letter. Let's see here. Uh, three, two, wait. No, uh, date of effect exemption. So 14. Okay. Now, check this out. What year was the deposition given? 2014, right? 2014. David saw the problem coming. So what does he do? Hey, let me get another tax exemption to dump all the money from GMMI into. Okay. This is how you operate a money laundering situation with the, through the IRS. Then you dump it into a bunch of fucking property. And you put the property in the church's name under incorporated LLC, shit like that. This is what I'm telling any, anybody from the IRS, the government that's watching, this is probably one of the most complex fucking schemes you're ever going to unfuck. Uh, is he filing 990s? He is not required to file a 990. And he won't. He won't. This fucking slimy fucking piece of visceral fucking shit won't do it. No. Nope. He won't fu fucking file a 990. He doesn't want anybody to see where his money's going. No. 
I know. Can we claim that this department needs cast out as a demon? Be like, hey, David, can you cast out the David, the uh, demon of the tax exemption? <laughs> All right. So that one's ex that one's current. OK, now we have another one. This one is called Marvels in America World Healing. That tax ID number is 85076607. This one was taken in, let's take a peek here. Oh, and guess what? They were all mailed to the same fucking address. Just so people know that. All these were mailed to the same fucking address. And do you want a proof? Look. And also, look at the designations on the letters here, okay? Attention to detail here, guys. It, Fuck everything you have to pay attention here to with these guys. They are doing a very good job to try to fuck the government. And you know what? They're, I'm not going to let them. They're full of shit. Okay. So we have two different exemptions. One's an incorporated. One's just a fucking standard exemption. One's under Marvels in America World Healing. Are they both under 170B1AI? Okay. Now for Marvels in America, it's under 170B1A. Uh, what is that? S six? Yeah. Nope, they're not exempt. They are required to file a 990, but they're saying they're only taking under 50000 a year. Hey, cat mom, motherfucking heezy, welcome. Devil tried to take it all away. Devil tried to take it all away. You're such a terrible person. <laughs> you're not really not, cat mom. You're not a terrible person. You're the best ever. All right, so we have multiple exemptions for one organization. I'm curious now why the IRS hasn't been able to unfuck this situation and basically peel this fucking organization like a fucking onion like we have. They have these the it's I find it hard to believe that the IRS has all these fucking resources and they can't fucking figure it out. I we're, David, we found out how to get the application for these. We're going to get these applications for these exemptions. Trust me. It's going to take a bit. Work with us, guys. But we're, we're there's some of us that are working on getting these exemption applications to find out who filed the exemptions. That'll be key. That's going to be key to find out who's fucking running the cult and shit like that. Pretty sure David's on the back end of it, but we're going to find out. I know David's cholesterol is 990. <laughs> right, Vulcan Death Grip? Right, bro? It's it's fucking nine ninety. He's on my fucking uh, my fucking uh, my cholesterol is nine ninety. <laughs> All right, so here's proof that we have multiple exemptions filed for this one organization. Okay, same address, but just filed under different names. Somebody else probably filed the exemptions. All right, and this is a multi level marketing scheme. Yep, yep. The sorry, the IRS is giving out church designation to anybody. I could pull a church designation. We actually made up, I made up a fake tax ID using David's fucking initials in case we ever wanted to start a nonprofit called Destroying Evil Today. <laughs> yeah, I did just to show everybody how fucking easy it was. Yeah, it's super easy. I might, let me see if I can find it. Let me see. Let's look, let's see if I can find the EIN. Destroying, hang on, evil <laughs> today. Nope, didn't search up. Okay, guess not. But I did. I pulled, I fucking, I submitted a form to the IRS just to show everybody how easy it was. Just to show everybody how easy it was. It is, it's super easy. It is, th and this, you're absolutely right, Cat Mom. David, David's, I, this is a pyramid scheme of a ministry. It is. It's a huge fucking pyramid scheme. Why does one organization need three different tax exemptions? What the fuck? Yeah, Michelle is a waitress, is in waitress protection. <laughs> I know, Michelle's working a fucking waitress job at McDonald's. So, Joseph testifies last, yesterday, okay? What we, what he said, I don't know yet at this point, guys. It's most likely probably not good, but uh, I like the fact that David actually sends his most idiotic in there to fucking testify and most likely fucking lied under oath. I'm not dumb. I know these guys lie. Joseph, you got caught in a lie with your lawyer, you fucking nimrod. Out of all people, uh, Joseph, you're not supposed to lie to your fucking lawyer. You know that, right? He's like, hey, you know what? I'm going to fucking pay my lawyer 40 grand and I'm going to fucking lie to him. 
You guys want to see what David's credit report is up to? Let's take a peek at his credit report. Uh, let me go ahead and open it up here. Give me one second here, guys. Dun, dun, dun. Oops, there we go. Okay, hang on. I don't want that one. Let's take a peek at David's credit report. All right, let's take a peek here. Oh, they were probably pissed when I started showing this. David started paying his bills once we showed his credit report. But now here's the thing. <laughs> this is what gets me, dude. Ah, oh, shit. How does a man that does it fucking work Uh, I'm glad I know David's social security number. Uh, 412-49-618-87. Uh, oh, shit, I only forgot his date of birth. Oh, man. Uh, what's David's birthday? Fuck, uh, September... Fuck, what's his birthday? Give me a second here. Uh, give me a second. They're probably fucking checking me, man. It's all right, though. Fuck, I forgot his birthday. Please enter your date of birth. Um, September... Fuck, is it September 3rd, 72? Fuck, I can't remember his birthday. I want to say it's September 3rd, 72, man. Fuck. I know it's social. I know that by heart. That's easy. That's easy. I got that on the fraud report. Trip9, do we know David's birthday? Hey, Donna, what's up? Evening. Trip9, do we know David's birthday? It's 1972, I know that. Or is it August 3rd? Let me see, hang on. I know I got it stored somewhere here. Give me a second. I gotta think. I want to pull up his credit report here. Fuck, what's his birthday? Shit. Thank you. August 3rd, 72. Thank you. Uh, so it's 08 03 1972. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> He's really so pissed. <laughs> oh, they were trying to lock me out. They were trying to make sure I was on my shit. Uh, yeah. Okay, so his credit score's gone up. All right, so he's at 718. Okay. And everybody, this is his fucking credit report, okay? Just let me tell you that real quick. And now people were asking me at one time, right? Check this out. David took a hospital trip. People are like, well, how do you know that? Okay, well, credit report tells you a lot of stuff, right? You just got to find it here. Or take a peek. Uh, let's see what's changed. All right. Well, Fargo. All right. Let me take a peek here. I need to get back to credit reports. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. All right. So if any... Any of the family members want David's credit report, let me know. I'll give it to you. I'll give you all the login information, okay? Anybody that wants David's credit report, let me know. Family members specifically, I'll give you all the information, okay? Now, we know David took a hospital trip back in... I'm uh, trying to backtrack it to, I want to say, the... The charge hit his credit report December of 2023, I want to say. Let's take a peek here. Capital One. 
Ally Financial, TD, nope, nope, nope. And Enhanced Recovery, no. Nope, those are credit polls right there. Okay, let me go back one. February, nope. Give me a second. Let me find the right report, guys. We might even find it right here, August 2023. Yeah, it was right around here. Okay, here we go. Applied Bank. Ally Financials. No, no, no. Collections. Here we go. Bam, right there. Okay. Now, Durham County EMS, all right? Yeah, the bees are... Dude, the split went good today, dude. Yeah, they were fucking packed full of bees, man. There were fucking bees everywhere. Let them be for a week. I'll go back up and check on them, make sure they took... Yeah, we'll get in. I'll tell you guys about that in a minute here. But this is David's uh, trip to the EMS, okay? And now when you look at this credit report, it tells us the account was open December 30th, 2022, okay? Uh, so open, so December 30. Okay, went in a shut away, didn't see him for a minute. And Durham County, okay? Durham County, we trace this to Duke University. Okay. Not going to say how, but David was seen at Duke University. Oh, Andre Gazarovsky, he's a fucking con artist, man. He's the dude. That's that's why David David saw at Gazarovsky fucking con a bunch of money and he's like, "Hey, that's a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and fucking be the same guy that he is. Let me go ahead and get up with that Gazarovsky guy. Maybe I can help him scam some fucking money." Bakta Bogdanov, Gazarovsky's a cocksucker too. Fuck that guy. He, bailed, he fucking fled his country because he was under investigation. He's like, I'm out of here. See you guys later. I'm going to flee. Got all this money. Bye. All right. So here, this is David's credit report. And he did take a ride to the amp. He did take a ride in the ambulance. The, the exact date we still haven't been able to pinpoint. All we can go off is the date that this was actually open. Okay. So I'm thinking six, seven months prior to this. I'm thinking maybe a year or so prior to this, he had a medical event. Maybe six, seven months prior. Hit collections. Okay, then he paid it off once we started showing it. So why is why is the profit taking a ride in a fucking EMS to Durham County? These are some other shits we've uncovered on, David. The profit had to take a fucking, the so-called dookie deacon, the apostle of fucking Jesus Christ had to take a ride in an ambulance for some odd reason. Oh, Joseph is his weakest link. Exactly right, Uncle Bruce. Joseph is his weakest link. Absolutely. Yep. Weakest link, man. 100%. I'm surprised, Joseph, I'm surprised you took the fucking stand, you dumb shit. My God, man. How fucking dumb can you be? You took the stand, Joseph. You guess what? If you lie, guess what? You can go to jail, man. Uh, they probably had to fucking transport him in a goddamn airlift or something. But he did. He suffered some sort of medical episode, you guys, and I don't know what it was. But I'm assuming COVID. He had a heart attack, a stroke. It could have been a number of things. And Doc, you know who you are. We were talking last night about David, right? You guys want to see what he looked like 2022? I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. You want to see what the walking rollers looked like pre-2022 before he went into deep, deep fucking dark hiding? I'll show you. Give me a second. Yeah, the Dookie Deacon. The Dingleberry Deacon. Um, the fucking... The Buddhist fucking... The Buddhist... The Booty Buddhist. Booty Buddhist. <laughs> Booty Buddhist. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's just go to his channel. Okay. And let's go to lives. Most popular. Because those actually, the one night with the Kings two years ago was actually some of his most popular shit that we'd ever seen, man. It was some of the fucking most dopest shit we'd ever seen of David E. Taylor. He came out and just made an absolute fucking idiot of himself like he usually does. I mean, it's not hard for him to make an idiot of himself. All he has to do is come out and open his fucking mouth. Okay. Now this, let's take a peek at the date here. This is how I kind of backtrack his medical condition. Okay, this was August 2021. This was David 
August 2021. All right, now bear with me, guys. This is how I'm thinking in my fucking brain. This is how I put put this together to figure out what happened to David. Now we know. I knew. Pri- I had somebody fucking call me from Ireland, and you know who you are. Big shout out to you, and you know who you are. Thank you. She pointed out right here. See, you see this under the eyes right here. This is big. This is a sign of hypercholesterolemia. Okay, Hi- hypercholesterolemia. Okay, David, when he does cholesterol, when he does everything, he goes to the max with cholesterol. He's like, I'm gonna get fucking hypercholesterol, yo. Fuck that. I'm going max hypercholesterol. Fuck all y'all. I want to fucking. F- I want fat pools under my eyes. Okay. Now I was talking to Doc the, yes last night, and what David is probably suffering from is visceral fat, right? And it's stuff that surrounds your your organs. It's not good. It David is a prime candidate for congestive heart failure, stroke, heart attack. I know he's diabetic. Fucking cholesterol and his triglycerides, HDL and LDL, are probably all shit. Okay, this is 2021. David wasn't getting better after this, y'all. He didn't get better. He got worse. And from 2021 until fucking, what was it? Until this, a year ago, a year ago, let me get the exact date. It was a year ago, and then David finally, this was, David came out of fucking hiding July 16th, 2022. I'm not dumb. David went to the fucking hospital, okay? And now he cut, He came out, puts this video out, right, and says, Hello, everybody. I'm not on deathbed. Hello, everybody. Listen, I am so happy to come before you. As you know, I've been in. Yeah, Trip9, the 2023 update. For two years, and it's been tremendous. You know, today is July the 15th, Friday, and I wanted to come and give you an update. As you know, COVID has been ravishing the United States and it has offset a lot of our plans even with the arena for over two years but we haven't given up we know that God has allowed this so he can bring the biggest miracle healing movement across the United States and the world and I'm excited about what God is going to do and so I wanted to come and give you this update very quickly about the things we're doing but I mainly wanted to speak to you. Facebook says 10 to 20. Just a mom. Okay. Concerning some rumors also that are floating around about I'm on deathbed and all of this crap and I'm ill and all of this foolishness. Listen, do not believe my liars and those, those traitors and enemies and these evil detractors out here okay now i'm looking at david's arms here now they're twice the fucking size recently his arms have grown to fucking double the size he's wearing black so we can't see but i can tell his arms no bullshit his arms have fucking almost traitors doubled or tripled in size and these evil detractors out here there's something i just found out somebody said that was put out on Facebook, and I want to read it to you to show you how and these are Christian people who think they are right. But listen to what it says. I pray he has repented. This is what somebody's put on Facebook. Cult leader David E. Taylor is on his deathbed. Now, let me be clear about something. Me and the homie Bill Cosby ASMR, we had had some conversation it's offline about him. He's all, dude, he could be dead, bro. Like, you haven't seen him, and I put a video out Put a video out about him being sick and dead, and this video comes out, but it was Vicky fucking troll he that put that shit on Facebook saying, oh, David E. Taylor's dead because she's been watching the channel, Vicky conniving little bitch. Okay, Vicky, you are in it for yourself, too. Vicky, you know what? Let me tell you something. I've talked to some people, and I've told them how fucking conniving of a bitch you are because you are. You're a fucking fraud just like David. Vicky, you were in it just for the fucking money. That's it. And once you found out David was fucking taking stabs at other women, you're like, oh, I'm, I... I need to expose him now. I need to expose him because I'm not the only woman. You knew what the fuck was going on, Vicky. You shut the fucking, shut your fucking mouth, man. All right. Hey, what's up, Eric? What's going on? What up, what up, what up, Eric? Good to see you. 
we're talking about, we did a lawsuit update and Joseph testified. Joseph testified where we, we started kind of did a rundown of why we're here. What, what has taken place since the deposition. Vicky, Vicky's trying to run her own fucking scam. She, Vicky Yohi, she, Vicky Trollhe. Let me tell, let me call her properly. Vicky Trollhe. Cause she looks like a fucking bridge troll. She destroyed her fucking name. She destroyed her name. She could have been all right without David, but for some reason she saw something in him. Maybe she was going to get bigger, but no, everything that David touches falls to fucking shit and ashes and fucking dingleberries. Okay. So Vicky was the one that put that out on Facebook. It was Vicky. Okay. But we originally had said on my channel that David was dead or sick about right when I did that. No bullshit. I got a privacy strike on the channel. David tried to privacy strike me saying I was putting out confidential information about him being sick or dead. YouTube said, no, he didn't put out any personal confidential, confidential information. They were trying to actually violate me on HIPAA laws. They're like, hey, there's HIPAA laws being violated here. There's like, no, there's not. Saying he's diabetic or fucking sick or dead. No, that's not violating HIPAA laws. Violating HIPAA laws would be like, okay, what's your doctor? What type of medication you're taking? Where your hospital is? You know, that's, that's HIPAA law violation. Saying you're a diabetic and you're sick or dead, possibly? No, that's not a HIPAA law violation. No, it's not a HIPAA law violation. So they tried to fucking privacy strike that video and YouTube said, nope, sorry. Yeah, Vicky's a fucking racist cunt. She is. Vicky's a racist cunt. She hates white people, dude. Yep. Uh, Vicky Yohi, she doesn't stand a chance starting up her own ministry, bro. There's no fucking way. She destroyed her name, bro. She jumped in bed with this fucking nasty bastard and just fucking told you. David creates more stock. David only intensifies Stockholm Syndrome, man. David re-victimizes people, man. He re-victimizes victims. It's fucked up. David would never stand up to a real person. He would never stand up to me, Daniela, Trip9, Tony, Eric, Bruce, Asha. He would never stand up to somebody with a fucking backbone. What was speculation and not factual? What the? I know David's diabetic. That's coming from sources fucking close to him. That were close to him at one time, anyways. They were worried about him back then because he wasn't taking care of himself. He's eating like a fucking goddamn walrus, fucking steak and crab legs and lobster and shrimp, just eating a high fucking cholesterol diet. When you know damn well, David, you are suffering from fucking high cholesterol. He's like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm just gonna take it to the fucking next level. Okay, fuck that. I want hyper cholesterol. I want to. F yeah, it was. It was. Well, we'll come to find out. Motherfucker was sick. No, he was sick, Donna. He fucking was sick. Here's the credit report. Shows motherfucker went to the motherfucking hospital somewhere around or before <laughs> August, December of 2023, man. December of 2022. On or before December 2022, David was sick and went to the fucking hospital. So no, that wasn't speculation or fact. Or that was that was true. That wasn't speculation or factual. That come to find out, motherfucker did go to the hospital. <laughs> yeah, so it's factual. It is. But the fact of the matter is that David is in bad shape. It is. It's a form of insecurity. It It is. It, it's. Yeah. So David did go to the hospital, man. No, it, it wasn't. It, we didn't. I didn't get it. I, I didn't pull his, his credit report probably till about six months ago. Somebody told me, pull his fucking credit report. Do it. I was like, fuck it. Why not? I got his social. So I did. What's he going to do? Fucking sue me? He's already tried. It didn't work. Yeah, at the, time, at the time they tried to violate you, it was speculation. Yeah, it was. It was speculation. And when I, they were trying to say that I violated HIPAA laws. That's what they were trying to, that's what they were trying to violate me on is, is privacy, right? Yo, I'll be a bar in the motherfucking hizzy. Buddy live to see another day. <laughs> nope, not this one. I can if I want, if I want to see deeper into his credit report. I'm not going to pay for his fucking credit report. This is enough. This was enough. Like at the time, you want to see what his credit score was at the time we found out. And this honestly was about the time I got it. August, September of last year. 
and his credit score was hovering around a 667 when we started putting it up on the fucking on the channel he started paying his fucking bills real fast now here's the other thing about this how the fuck does a man that's making $35,000 a year pay all these fucking credit cards houses properties large property purchases man Yeah, you can look at the walrus and you can tell he's fucking sick, man. Look at the walking walrus. He looks like absolute dog shit sitting there. He'd be better as a pile of dog shit. Oh, Dane can't do that in Sweden. Well, in America, you can. I can pull David's credit report and there's absolutely not a fucking thing he can do about it. Not a fucking thing he can do about it. And I know it burned him. I know it burned him. That, that cease and desist back there says I have David and Michelle's social. Michelle, I do have your social now, by the way, but I just wasn't able to pull your credit report, unfortunately. I wish I was. But what I found out, can, can, uh, Michelle, that you're just as fucking degenerate as David. You have shitty credit. Your credit's no better. Yeah. Well, Gazarovsky, yeah, he was probably using David's organization to wash his money. Yeah. Gazarovsky was probably getting some kind of kickback on the flip side. Let's watch this for a minute here. Do it look like I'm on my deathbed? Like I'm not on no deathbed. They are lying to you, okay? So I wanted to come and make that straight with you and peer with you before. <laughs> this is amazing. They said David Taylor is on his deathbed. Facts. God has the final say. You right, God do have the final say. That's right, David. You were on your motherfucking deathbed, dude. And here's a credit report to prove it, you fucking liar. Right here, David. Look, you want to see? Look, David, I'll prove it. Oh, did I shut it down? Oh. David, you most likely were on your deathbed at some point. You know what it sounded like, David? You know what it sounded like? It sounded like you just had a fucking chest tube removed from your fucking chest. <laughs> it sounded like you, had a, you sound like you were intubated for about several months. That's what you sound like, David. Honestly, that's what you sound like. You sound like you actually had a fucking tube just pulled out of your fucking chest. Okay? Say, and you a liar, my friend. So I want to come and let all the people know that love me around the world, love this ministry, love face to face, what God is doing, and how massive and huge this ministry has grown even since doing COVID. And I'm so excited to bring that news to you. But I want you to spread this video. Let everybody know David Taylor is not on a deathbed. Amen. We are doing the will of God. Okay, now, this, when was this? This was uh, July 16th, 2022. Okay. Darth DeVader. <laughs> uh, Darth DeVader. Uh, Darth DeVader. And then, okay, now he comes out on Easter. Dude, just looking like an absolute fucking pile of fucking shit, man. Oh, my God. David, you shouldn't even... F and look, you know what else he does? Look, he does an eclipse video. Oh, David E. Taylor speaks about the eclipse. Oh, the eclipse came over Michigan, Taylor, Michigan, where David E. Taylor's fucking cult is. Fuck out of here, David. You fucking lying piece of shit. All right. Here we go. Of that, not as though I had already attained. Either we're already perfect, but I follow after. If that I may apprehend. Job of the gut. Job of the gut, man. Everybody, I present to you David E. Taylor as Job of the Gut. Look at him. And Trip Knight, if you're still watching, Brother Big, shout out to you for pointing this out, dude. D I, you know what, Cat Mom? Cat Mom, I was, I've been thinking about her, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I'm worried for her. I don't know what's going on with her. Haven't heard from her. Don't know what's going on with her. Don't know. Michael Scott. <laughs> Anything about Catherine Crick? Uh, she's a psychotic bitch. She's failing miserably in Hollywood. She knows it. Yes, Michelle is still back with him. I found out through her fucking niece. Or her niece was coming in here. Michelle, you know, your families were in here watching. And they were telling us shit here in the chat that, like, you fucking, you have fallen completely away from everything. Exactly. Trip9 pointed this out. 
and I want to thank you, Triple Nine. He is. Look at look at him. He's an overweight fucking blob. He's ta- that's like one of those like comfort chairs, right? It's like three months ago after twenty years, just wanted to say, "Good for you, Daniela. Read your Bible, man. It's cool. God, God, God still loves you, man. God still loves you, man. Make mistakes. You know what? God's still gonna love you. God's still gonna love David. But David, you're gonna deal with the man's justice too, right? Which is exactly why this is where we started filing fraud with David. This is how we figured out. For some of the people that we've been talking to offline that are new to the channel, this is where we learned how to stop these fucks. What do they get? Tax exemptions, money from the IRS, tax-free. Okay, start auditing the IRS, telling the IRS, um, you guys need to do your fucking job. I know even strange men don't like to kiss Catherine Crick. <laughs> and it is. When you look at David here, it's the look of worry, look of my days are numbered. And then look at how fucking overweight he is, you guys. He's just not in good a good place. Yeah, Pedro, you were telling me, dude. You were one of the other gentlemen that's being fucked over by Catherine Crick. And you live in Australia. You live in Australia. Yeah, you know what, Daniela? And people in Colts have to think their way out of it, man. They have to think their way out of it, bro. Hey, what up, Kid Freshy? Uh, if we we're talking about David right now and, and well, Pedro actually, uh, you know, a big shout out to you too, Pedro for fucking staying strong with it, man. Uh, dude, Catherine's not even a fucking citizen of your country, bro. When they showed Crick videos in our meetings, I left. That's when you started to wake up to it right down. You're like, yo, what the fuck is this shit? Right? So you see, bro, uh, dude, I'm not even fucking Christian. I'm not Christian. And we're here pointing this out together. No way. She's going next week to meet her. Holy shit. God, these fucking... God damn it. God damn you, Crick. You fucking psycho. This is why we're here, man. People don't like me cussing. That's cool. Go find another channel. The real Christians are here. Trust me. The ones with the... The Christians with a sense of humor... And that are imperfect are here. Yeah. His wife is going all the way to LA from fucking Australia. And now they're selling their house apparently because it's possessed by demons. Imagine that. Hit that like, man. Got 42 people in here. Show me 42 thumbs up or 42 thumbs down. All the same. If there's any trolls you want to call in, please do. Oh, you want the Genesis 2? To- Genesis 1-2. Okay, hang on. Javi wants a Genesis 1-2 tutorial. Okay. This is how you get to God, all right? Here's the Bible, okay? This is a tutorial on how to get to Jesus, all right? So you go to Genesis. We started with 1-1 today. So Javi said, we'll start with 1-1. Now we're going to the second day, day two, okay? This is the second day. And this is Genesis, the second day. So we already did day one, okay? And I guess we'll just go through the days. David, Javi wants me to go through the verses uh, every stream, so I think I, I'll do start doing that, all right? And this is a tutorial on how you get to God. Look, here's a Bible right here. Check this out. Look, watch right here. See? Right there. There's a Bible. Bam. Right here. You open it up, okay? Tutorial, how to get to Jesus, right here. Bam. Second day, okay? This is Genesis. Uh, I think we're still on one. one what are we on, Javi? The creation the first day. Okay, so we did the creation the first day. So now we're on the second day of creation. Okay? This is how you get to Jesus, everybody. Right here, you open your Bible. God said, let there be a fir- uh, let there be firmament in the midst of waters, and let it, let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firm- firmament from, water- from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. Done. Bam. Tutorial. How you get to Jesus, everybody. Bam. Dunzos. Just like that. <laughs> That's how you do it. Read a verse a day, man. That's all you got to do. Get to God. That's how you do it, man. It's that simple. That's Javi's, That's Javi's tutorial, man. That's Javi MMI's tutorial on how to get to Jesus, man. Yep. 
day two and night and day. Exactly. There, is there anything more clear than that? That's 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 what it's laid out in black and white in the Bible. It doesn't need to be written by a fucking Catherine Crick. Any of these fucking assholes, man. <laughs> the cat, cat mom, she's leaving next E for a conference. <laughs> yeah, it's that simple, Anthony. It's that simple. It's black and white, bro. Firmament equals dumb. Yeah, I have a translation book back here too. So firmament equals dumb. I I need to I need to read it and I gotta pray in tongues, okay? I have to pray in tongues. That way nobody fucking understands it, okay? Because it's a big fucking secret, okay? No, Cat Bomb never followed Catherine Creek. Simple tutorial. That's Javi's tutorial on how you get to Jesus. Open the Bible and read it. Black and white. There's no changes. Nothing needs to be changed about it. It's ironic that all these people these so fucking called prophets need to come out here and say, oh, I'm the senior apostle and I have all this fucking knowledge from Jesus. No, no, we all have the same knowledge. We all have the same walk. Just how that person takes the walk, man. All you hoity-toity Christians out there. Yep. Would love for you guys to call in and dispute what we're saying about how we run the channel. Anything. Do you think we're wrong about Catherine Crick, David Pagani? All you fucking little clowns out there. All of you guys. We're watching all of you. Y'all are a bunch of fucking idiots. Oh, you guys want to see Daniel Adams? He's buying 10,000 subs. Fuck it. I don't even want to do Daniel Adams, but you know what? I have to because, look, Daniel Adams' pecker is feeling real fucking small now. Okay. So is Catherine's. <laughs> so is Catherine's. Catherine's on my pecker. is feeling real small. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, check this dickhead out. Look, so Daniel got to 10,000, like a million subs. Look, look, now he's buying 10,000 subs. Like, he's going to be buying 10,000 subs every five to 10 days, okay? Every five to 10 days, dickhead Daniel Deacon, Deacon dickhead Daniel is going to be buying 10,000 fucking subscribers. And these numbers will continue to stay the same. That's what they do. That's how fraud. That's how fucking fraud they are. Oh, Catherine's just is bad, dude. But she's only buying one to two. She's only buying one to two thousand subs. But she's just as bad as fucking Daniel Adams or any of these fucking asswives. I know you want me to spin that scripture to fucking scam everybody. <laughs> You know, that's the thing. It'd be so easy to fucking twist that scripture to be like, hey, give me your fucking money. But no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to because that's not what Jesus did. Jesus didn't fucking scam people for the word, man. He was like, freely you give, freely you receive, man. And this whole casting out of demons, y'all fucking demon slayers. Man, you guys could cast out a fucking a runny shit, man, if your life depended on it. Come on. You all demon slayers saying you're casting out demons? Let me tell you something about a real exorcism. It ain't no fucking joke. You guys think that you can come out and do, oh, one, two, three, out now. Oh, a little hand tremble here, and I'm going to fucking shake on the floor like a fucking idiot. No, you guys are all frauds. You're all scammers. You guys wouldn't be able to handle a real exorcism if it ever, ever, ever came down to it. The demons would literally fucking possess you and probably fucking... Stick your own head up your ass or something. I don't know. I wouldn't want to test it because that's not my fucking business. They're the demons. They are. These guys are the demons right here. They think we're demonic. Oh, you're the Pharisees. Yo, fuck you guys. Fuck you for twisting the scripture to fucking dilute people and to fucking lead people on thinking that, that you're some fucking apostle. You know, one thing I've never done here is fucking claim to be an apostle or a prophet or be a good Christian or a Christian at that. I'm not. I'm not Christian. I did accept Jesus, so I'm good. I'll leave it at that. I'll let God figure it out. I did. I accepted Jesus when I was a kid, man. And the way I've learned is like, if you did, like you can't have demons if Jesus is in your life. <laughs> so I'm not going to have any demons because you know what? Jesus was in my life fucking long ago. I'll let him sort it out when he punches my ticket. Yeah, that's why I'm moving out. Yeah, 
And you know what, man? That sucks, Pedro. That you have to fuck that crick is destroying your life because of fucking uh God, Catherine. Catherine fucking Grift. That's your fucking name, Catherine Grift. All right, let's start. This is David's fucking bullshit. To, to worship and uh, love on him and what he has done for us. When we know Jesus marched through the city and they were praising him. And this is a time of praise um, for what he has done for us. I just felt led that we needed to. Yeah. Like uh, Kid Fresh, he says, Bangladesh's GNP has likely tripled from selling bots to, yeah. Christian grifters picking shovels, people. Yeah. No, no bullshit, dude. Fucking dude. Fucking. Yeah. Come before God and, um, and to just worship him and love, love the Lord Jesus. How many of you love the Lord Jesus? That's why you came to this ministry. Isn't that right? You came because of him. You came because of Jesus. Yeah. I won't do organized religion. I won't do organized religion. I know where to go, go to God. If I need him, I know where to go. I know exactly where to go, as should every other fucking Christian out there. Why are we using intermediaries to get to the guy? Answer that question. <laughs> I know the only thing he's resurrecting is a big pile of bullshit, right, Dan Alexander? <laughs> right, bro? That's all he's resurrecting is a big old pile of fucking steamy-ass bullshit. I know. Look at you, David. You are defeated. David, you are defeated. He is. He's fucking defeated. Look at him. He and the, again, the main reason they had this whole lower one third up is because he's the size of a fucking couch, probably. They didn't want us to see his legs. They didn't want us to see how huge his fucking legs are. I am fucking one hundred percent. There is one hundred percent rivalries amongst these ministries. Yes, there is. Why well, I think Daniel Adams' cat mom got kicked off the Demon Semen Sprayer podcast. Because they're like, uh-oh, that guy's getting too big of a dick here. We can't let him. We got He's got to go. He's got to go because his little fucking prophet pecker is getting too big, okay? We know he's been fucking slamming steroids in his ass. And now his fucking testicles are shrinking. And he's taking some HGH to make his pecker grow back. So we had to kick him off. Now, nah, he, he's not good at all. No, Eric, he, he's not good at all, bro. No, he's not good, dude. Got his druggy glasses on and shit. Like, when he takes his druggy glasses off, he looks like shit. He looks like absolute dog shit. And all this was, all this was was him just sitting here looking like, look at this. Look at him. Like, look at the size. He's fucking huge, you guys. And I, I, I'm not making fun of like people that are overweight or anything, but David, you're supposed to be the apostle, brother, dude. And you're David, you're not looking healthy at all, my man. Like he is very, very top heavy and is dude. He's got to be 400 pounds. Trip nine. Where you at, bro? What do you think? I like, dude, I want the chat to be active. I like to interact, bro. This is social media. Dude, what the fuck are we doing here? What are we doing here? It's social media. We got to be social, right? Nah, welcome, kid freshy. Enjoy, dude. I want the chat to, to chat to interact. It took us all to figure this out, dude. Nobody can bring Colts down by themselves, dude. This all has to be done as a group. Dude, there's so many educated people in here that I'm like, they're right here in the chat and they're watching with us. And guess what? There's people doing work on the back channel trying to figure this shit out. All right. This is a, this group is active. We do we we're doing full on investigations on these people. Catherine Crick's next. Catherine Crick's next. Catherine, we're coming for you, you little fucking psycho bitch. Fucking psycho breaking up people's marriages, you fucking asshole. I'm surprised you didn't break up your parents' marriage. That's no wonder your mom looks so fucking tired. Because you probably tried breaking up your mom and dad. She's like, nope, fucking, you probably just wore her down to a fucking nub. That's why your mom looks so beat down, Catherine. So you probably tried to break up your own parents' marriages so you could be daddy's little fucking princess. Little fucking psychotic fucking slut. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on.
My wife is a slut. Yeah, kid. We got to measure his gravitational, his weight by gravitational force. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's extremely unhealthy. Well, you know, and, and with, and with regards to David's health, okay, you got overweight. He's most likely fucking diabetic. You got, I know he's fucking diabetic. I'm not dumb. Right. When you're overweight like this, he's a middle-aged black man, 5'8", 375, trip nine says 375 to 425. Oh, kid, freshy, dude. Scientology, dude. Scientology's going down. I can't fuck with those guys. There's a lot of people fucking with those guys. There is a lot of cults out there that can fucking use the exposure. I I want people to call in. I open kid, freshy. I open my channel for people to call in. Trolls alike. Nobody ever calls in though and says, "Hey, I'm full of shit," or "What we're doing is wrong." Because you know what? They can't. The people that support these movements will not, cannot, have never called in and saying, "Well, you know what? No, one of the homies did. Tommy Gun." He did. He called in, supported David, and he he was just like, dude, I don't want to see you take this cult down. You know, he was like, I, I, I there's a part of David that I do like, and I get it, and I have nothing but respect for the guy because that proves that this guy has, has empathy and sympathy and has compassion. And he called and said, I don't want you guys to break this cult. I don't want you to bring him down. Like, I have compassion for David. I care for the guy. You know, but the train's left, guys. The train's left on this one, man. The train's left with David. It's not coming back. Yeah, people have said I'm wrong, but they can't prove why. They can't. They never can, and they never will. You know, I have a Bible right here on my desk. That's all I need. Dude, Kid Freshy, was it us that were talking? Dude, I I want to talk Mormonism. Dude, Mormon is the biggest fucking cult out there. Holy shit! Why does God need billions of fucking dollars? Dude, I used to be a troll. David's all, I used to be a troll too, but then I got Bosley. <laughs> and he's like, I finally got some hair plugs it took, okay? No, there's a number at the bottom. I, If you want to call, just drop a text into that number and I'll call you. And that's that's not a problem. I, I would love to discuss all different types of cults because there's so many out there. And with COVID, it's almost like it jump-started these fucking cults, man. It was really weird. COVID, like, jump-started these cults. Look at what happened to fucking Nature Boy. Dude got sentenced to life in prison. I hope you get some white Karen of a fucking judge, David. Yeah, KK, you're going to be the talk of the IRS. I'm sure David is the talk of the IRS, no doubt. I'm sure the IRS is like, why are we getting all these fucking reports about David E. Taylor? One of the 18-wheelers, Michael Steven, is gone from the hotel. When I was in Houston a couple weekends ago, I drove by the place. The, the, one of the 18-wheelers, that one that was parked in front of the trailer, it's gone. I don't know where it's at. It's gone. You know what, Pedro? You got our full support here, bro. We got some friends in Australia. Where are you at? We got people in Australia, dude, that can fucking square you up, dude, and just, you know. Let me know, Pedro. Email me, bro. I'll put you in touch with the homie 54. He's in Australia too, dude. Just for some support, dude. That's the only about the only thing I'm thankful for COVID. It did expose all these fucking fraud ass pastors. It did. Daniel Adams, he's one of the biggest fucking cons out there after Catherine. And Daniel Adams, he's just as dumb. I don't know if Pedro has kids or not. I don't know if he's got kids. It's ridiculous, though, what these people have done. Yeah, Mormon is a huge cult, but it's not the worst one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. You're right, Kid Freshy. That's okay, Kid Freshy. Kid Freshy. If you know about Scientology, that's what these fucks thrive on is money, bro. What do you go after? Dude, what sons us say? You get the fucking weakest link. Money. Go after the fucking system bureaucratic means my man you don't fucking raise violence and hey, guess what you get the government involved i studied war theory i i very much went about war theory with this chip away you know what the first one was calling david a piece of shit get inside his head that was the first chip at getting to david i'll do it anymore because once i was inside his head it wasn't needed 
once the cease and desist was sent, I knew I was in his head, so I was, I didn't need to do it. Okay. Once I was in his head, the work was done. I didn't need to do that anymore. After that, we started analyzing what these people go after, tax exemptions, money, land. Okay, what are they doing behind the closed doors? We started looking up tax exemptions, putting together the fucking pieces, looking at the property buy-ups. Big fucking land grab with this organization, probably about $60 million worth of property in the last five, six years. I'm a big, uh, dude, I would love to see Scientology. Dude, if Scientology's tax-exempt status gets fucking taken away, guess what? That means the fucking government has grown a set of balls and that they're now starting to fucking shut these assholes down. Yeah, hey. Yeah, get with me, Pedro. Yeah, dude, your kids probably shouldn't be going there with your wife, bro. Yeah, if you can keep your kids away from that fucking conference, do it at all costs, okay? Don't don't let your wife take them, bro. Don't. You know what I'm worried about, Pedro? Is her fucking staying there with your kids, bro, and not coming back. Don't just Pedro, if you can let keep your wife from going with the kids. Yep. You know what? If she tries to take the kids, you might even be able to call the fucking local police be like, hey, my wife's taking the kids, trying to take the kids out of this country to a fucking cult. Yeah, don't let her take the kids, brother, all right? If you have to, call the fucking police. Don't let her take the kids out of the country, bro. Do not let her take those kids out of Australia, my guy. Yeah, do not let her. Trying to tell your kids to renounce porn. Yeah, don't don't let your kids go, bro. Okay, don't do it. Please don't. For the sake of your kids, bro. The health of your kids. Don't do it. Catherine has no business fucking ministering to kids. Hey, what's up, Carlos? Um, you need to get a to get a house. So that's why my house is gone. Man, you see what these people do, everybody. You see what fucking Catherine Crick has done. Anybody's just tuning in. We did do a live update on David. Um, anybody's just tuning in. Smash that like. If you're a troll, call in. Number 314-492-3356. Anybody's welcome to call in. You want to say something to David? You got a family member in the cult you want to get a message out to and you haven't been able to get a hold of them? Well, guess what? The cult listens to this channel. Just letting you guys know that. The cult listens. If anybody's got a family member in Catherine Creek cult that they can't get to you need to talk to, trust me, they listen here. All right, be good, John K. Have a good night, brother. Hit that like on the way out, brother. Hit that like and subscribe. Hit that like or dislike, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, protect those kids, man. Daddy up, Pedro. Daddy up, dude. Protect your kids, man. Yep. Don't lose your faith, bro. Just let God, bro. Don't lose your faith, man. Don't let Catherine fucking burn your faith, brother. Don't let her do it. Fuck that. If Catherine's trying to burn your faith. Catherine has no faith. That's why she's burning everybody else. Just like David. What do they say? The people who usually scream the loudest to God are the farthest away. Yeah, Pedro. Hey, hey man, don't let just... Hey, Pedro, for the love of God, dude, do not let her take the kids, okay? Yeah, don't let her take, don't take the kids. Just don't let her take the kids, bro, okay? Honestly, if you have to, call the fucking police. Be like, she's trying to take the kids out of the country to a fucking cult in California, man. Don't let her. We got your back, dude. I don't care. I'll call, fuck, I'll email Australian police. I'll find a way. I'll fucking email and be like, hey, man, there's a problem here. We got a fucking mother trying to take some kids out of the country into a cult into America. And I'm pretty sure the Amer Australian government wouldn't like that. They'd be like, no, the fuck she's not. She's not taking those kids anywhere. There's kids in this cult, too. There's kids in David's cult. Yeah. You know, and the thing is, is the laws, they might... Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's got take... Pedro, is she taking the kids, bro? Is she trying to take the kids, Pedro?
Because so that's a problem, dude. We don't you don't want her taking the kids. It's a lot of flight tickets to pay for if she's taking the kids. Please say no. Please say no. Hang on, let's see. I'm waiting for his response. Because if she's taking the kids, Pedro, and you're a legal guardian, that that might be a problem if she's trying to do that. I, man, I fucking hope your kids don't go. <sighs> Fuck, man. God damn her, dude. What the fuck? Ugh. <sighs> Dude, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Catherine, you're a real fucking cunt. You know that? You know that, Catherine? You know that? You're a real fucking cunt. I can't fucking stand you. You and your fucking vindictive little fake-ass fucking cunt smile. Your fucking psychotic faces. Look at you, fucking shadow walker. You won't even come out in the fucking day because you're so scared of your own fucking shadow. I know, where's 54? Asha, Asha, are you in here still? <laughs> fucking bitch-ass cunt, Catherine. You're a fucking dumb-ass bitch, Catherine. I can't fucking stand you. You're so fucking pasty. Look at you. Nobody touched the prophet. Look at this little psychotic fucking sociopath prophet. Look at her. What a bitch. Look, everybody. I'm the prophet over L.A. Look, here I am. Here's the cut cardinal right here, everybody. I love my city. And look, everybody. I'm trying to make myself look like God. Here I am, everybody. I got almost a million subscribers and I only have 3,500 likes. Okay. I would love to talk to her, man. But you know what? The thing is, is you can't, these people, blessed, these people have to think their way out of these situations. This is a cult. This is a cult. I can't, we can't tell these people to stop believing in their system. We have to get them to think their way out of who they're believing in. We have to get them to question the leaders. Well, we see the example of the woman who just had a few coins, and that was example of or more spirit. Should we tithe out of a budget or more spiritually? Well, we see the example of the woman who just had a few coins, and that was all she had, and she gave it all. And so she didn't hold on to one of the coins, but she gave it all. She didn't um, budget. <laughs> Look at her. She's like fucking and Skeletor, Jesus man. Commended her for this. Jesus said, "You have lazy tiger, shut the fuck up, dude. You nothing but a bitch. Call in, lazy tiger. Call in, you fucking troll ass little bitch, dude. I'm fucking tired of you guys fucking trolling. Hey, look, there's the Iowa Whitaker. Look, oh, whole shit. Hey, look, there's the Iowa Whitaker. Oh yeah. Oh, we're gonna bring. Oh yeah. Well, the thing is, is now that." Pedro's wife is going. She's most likely going to give money to him. To her. Fuck off, lazy tiger. Go go eat David's fucking dirty ass fucking maxi pad. Fuck off. Given more than all of those wealthy people who also gave. But Jesus, that, that speaks to us. <laughs> That's what David calls his little pecker, the lazy tiger. <laughs> all right, kid. That's what David calls his little weenie, a lazy tiger. He's all, hey, lazy tiger, how you doing down there? One of the thing, the thing is with David's health, he ain't fuck. He ain't, no, he ain't. And Michelle, last time we heard, oh, I love being under Apostle Taylor. 
Yeah. Whatever, Lazy Tiger. That troll. they were Lazy holding, on to, holding on to some more, and it didn't really move God's heart like it did when that woman gave. Um, so, but I'm gonna unsubscribe from your said, channel so you don't have any subscribers because I'm your that, only subscriber. You know, when when rent is due and we have bills to pay, that we just give 100 percent of our money as a tithe always. Um, no. But that being said, it's not meaning that, you know, when when rent is due and we have bills to pay, that we just give 100 percent of our money as a tithe always. Um, no, absolutely not. It's a balance. It's a balance. So um, the general rule of thumb is to be generous in your giving instead of um, giving what's comfortable because... Yeah, she looked like she spoke to fatty fucking rock, all right. She didn't smoke a fatty fucking doobie. She spoke to big rock. For most people... Yeah, it, it proves again, quietly, the trolls are watching the channel. So if there's any family members out there, guess what? The David E. Taylor trolls watch this channel. If there's anybody out there that you want to get a message to David E. Taylor and you haven't been able to, this is the place to do it. This is the place to do it right here. Look at how wrinkled. She looks like shit, man. Look, fuck, Visine overdose. Nah, she's snorting, dude. She's, Kathleen, Catherine's a fucking uh, nose candy prophet, dude. I would I would hope not. I, I, I pray that Catherine never has kids because she's the next Ruby Frankie, bro. Hey, what's up, Brent? Hey, what up, bro? You want the Mia Quaco entrance, homie? Got you. It is yours. Mia Quaco. 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 It is yours. Yeah, the Five S Church has a benevolence fund. It's Catherine's fucking Louis Vuitton bags. No, the giving generously doesn't go both ways. It only goes into Catherine Creek. And you know, I think it was Anthony that told me. Yeah, it was Anthony. Anthony's asked what it took to be planted at the 5F church, and you have to donate to a fucking church, a uh, fucking orphanage in Tanzania. That The Lazy Tiger is a David E. Taylor troll. Oh, the trolls are watching. Nobody ever calls in. Bunch of fucking pussy-ass little bitches from David's cult. Because they know, they know, they know what's up. They know that we know everything. We know about the prostitution. We know about the money laundering. We know about the fraud. We know about the scams. We know about the movement of the people throughout all the houses. Well, you found you found a conversation with Catherine saying sell the house? Oh, Catherine, you fucking cunts. <coughs> you know what, Pedro? That could have been a scam too, bro. That could have been a fucking scam because there's groups out there. There's there's scammer groups that do Catherine scams, dude. Do you speak, dude, your wife could honestly be being scammed by her, by a group, dude, telling him. I don't know. Yeah, them calling, that would require courage and a fucking backbone and a set of balls to fucking call in. I have the balls to put my face on a fucking YouTube channel talking about religious cults. I mean, anybody else fucking? No, fuck no. Dude, she'd probably eat me, bro. No, fuck no. I would not. No, I would not. Dude, imagine... Imagine being Catherine's boyfriend, bro. Dude, imagine her doing this shit while you're her dude, bro. Come on. Okay, it was live on the stream. Okay. No, I'm not saying it was a scam, but some there's there's Facebook pages that run scams about Catherine Crick. That's all I was saying. I was just saying I was I was thinking about it because I know there's people that run scams on Catherine and shit, dude. That's all. Dude, it Catherine. Dude, the Catherine's on a fucking watch list, you guys. Hang on, let me pull that shit up. Hold up. <laughs> Catherine's on a watch list, man. Stand by. 
Stand by. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Planted my ass. Yeah, let me fucking go ahead and help you fucking run a human trafficking and sex trafficking operation in Tanzania while I'll give you some fucking money out of my bank account. It's money. It's all money. Kid Freshy. Money, bro. Money, my guy. It's all about money so we go after the tax exemptions we file fraud with the irs let them know they're running scams and they are that they're not reappropriating the funds like they should be that they're misappropriating the funds yeah she needs more money for blowing louis vuitton man for real this is real guys look i only know one Catherine crick and yeah she is 33 years old she's born in 92 how do you trick her though? How, how do you grift her? Uh, dude, we've, we've done so much damage to her, bro. Money and attention is her get down, right? I don't know, man. I couldn't find anything on it, man. I couldn't find anything on it. Couldn't find anything about it, man. I really couldn't. I looked deep, too. I tried to find it, but it... That's basically what it said. It was kind of like a soft fucking, like, kind of fucking one-off type deal. <laughs> so. Catherine's on some kind of watch list. What it is? Don't know what it is. I don't know what kind of government watch list she's on, but I'm guessing it's going to be something to have to do with money. That's for sure. Yeah, it's hard to find, man. I was looking really hard, man. I was looking really hard, and I couldn't find it. <clears throat> yep. So that's it right there. Catherine's being watched by somebody, man. I don't know who the fuck it is, but... Well, I, I don't know about most people, but a lot of people tithing uh, to only 10% would be comfortable. Um, just like, I'm just saying this out of like, um, just saying that a lot of people, let's say, are middle class or are having, you know, not extremely wealthy, but not, um, in poverty. So if, if, if all of those people were to give just 10%, then they would have a lot more that they could spend on themselves than what they were really giving to God. They ha would have a lot left over beyond their, you know, basic bills and stuff. And so, um, it's going to look like, it's going to look different in different seasons of life. Like when, when God blesses you with so much more finances, then it will probably look like giving quite more than 10%. Because if you have, if God is blessing you with so much more financially, then um, if you're giving m much more than 10%, you still would be <laughs> comfortably living probably, you know. But if someone is in a place where they're just paycheck to paycheck, God still wants them. Catherine's like, I am on paycheck to paycheck. To tithe, and that principle would be of like the, I mean, the principle for in that case would be the woman who um, gave all she had, the, the coins that she had. Um, so it, it's just different with every season, but instead of thinking of it as like, okay, 10% goes, this is how it should be looked at. 10% must go to God. If I don't give 10%, Bitch, what the fuck does God need money for, you lying cunt? Fuck you.
motherfucker. Oh, God needs 10%. What the fuck does he need 10% for? He's already in the fucking kingdom of paradise. What the fuck does he need more cheddar for? He's already sitting fat like a fucking fat rat. What's he need more money for, Catherine? Fuck off. Fuck off, you fucking lying little psychotic fucking bitch. Fuck her, dude. Fuck her, bro. Say, uh, 10% needs to go to God. Yo, fuck you, Catherine. Fuck you. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up here, man. We're gonna wrap it up with, with Catherine saying 10% needs to go to God. Let's all be clear about something here, okay? You do not have to fucking give to these people, all right? Tithing is not, tithing is discretionary. Tithes are not tithes when they're extorted, like Triple Nine said one time in his chat. Tithes aren't tithes when you extort them. Freely you give, freely you receive, Catherine. 10% does not need to go to God. You're just using that to get people's 10 fucking percent. The 10% that's going to Catherine Crick or David Taylor is supporting their lifestyle. Always has, always will. And until people go back to the Bible, these people will be continued to be supported by people giving 10%. Exactly. 10% was for the nation of Israel to support the priesthood. Exactly. And the seed is actual fucking grains. Kathy's like, oh, give me 10% of your fucking check. Yo, fuck you, bitch. Get a job. I know it's not tithing when it's extortion, right? Trip nine. <laughs> exactly. It's, she's she's mislead her followers on the tithing principles. You can bet she isn't tithing 10%. Fuck no. Oh, she's tithing 10% to Louis Vuitton. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 10%. <clears throat> that was to support the priests that were actually going around preaching the word of God. Catherine, you're not preaching the word of God. You're just a fucking sociopath. That's all. <clears throat> you call it what you want joshua i call it a, I, these guys are just scammers to me dude they're scammers to me bro nothing more nothing less yes i do believe that church has its its place in society when it's in the right hands but not these people no nah, she's this bitch is a fucking fraud dude fuck her john tall's like i do every night well she does to me and then i her yeah Yep. Mormon church, kid freshie. Mormon church was just caught giving <laughs> less than 0.4% of their $250 billion to charity. Meanwhile, the sheep pay 10%. Yeah. Way to go, Mormon church. Yeah. Helping the fucking kingdom of God out. Yeah. Way to go. What the fuck does God need $250 billion for? Yep. These people are all grifters, everybody. Anybody that wants to dispute it, call in. Call in. But I'm going to wrap it up for, there, for the night. Um, I want to play some fucking Fortnite. Um, and Javi, since you were asking about the bees, just to close it up, it went well today. Uh, I'll go back up and check them in a week, dude, and see how they're doing. And hopefully everything went well. There was a shit ton of fucking bees when I went up there last week and put a box on it. Went, went back up there and there was still a shit ton of fucking bees in the box. <laughs> so what I went and did today with my client was she actually went out there and helped me split them today. And how you do it is you just, you take five frames, you take a frame of honey, you take a frame, two frames of brood and some emerging larva and you want to kind of mix it up, right? So you do five frames total and you just fucking take them out of the box, swap them over and you just, you just let the bees go to work, man. They do everything else. So, um, one of the, one of the colonies I made queenless today, right? Now the bees, they have to figure it out from here. They got to make a queen or... If they don't make a queen, I'm going to have to fucking troubleshoot it and get a queen made for them, something. But it's we're in season right now, so it shouldn't be a problem for them making a queen and getting that done, right? So one of the one of the colonies today, Javi, is queenless, bro. So one of the colonies is now queenless. And they'll be queenless for about 7 to 10 days until they... They know they're queenless. Whichever one's queenless, they know. I just don't know which one. But there were so many fucking bees. I, I could have went through the whole colony today and broke apart the colonies and found the queen bee. But I talked to my mentor. He's like, nah, just fuck, just, just, just do it this way. I was like, all right, cool. He's like, Let, it's, he's like, we're, we're in resource season right now. So it's okay to make a colony queenless and have them make up their own queen. She'll breed. They'll, she'll make their own. There's plenty of fucking drones right now. 
and a, a virgin queen. The scent of a virgin queen attacks drones like that, man. She'll get mated in no fucking time right now. And queens, for those of you that want to know, are true Lisas. <laughs> they are true Lisas, okay? Like, you know, Kenneth Copeland calling his wife a slut. Well, a uh, queen bee is a true Lisa. She does. She gets laid by every fucking drone she can. The drones die right after breeding, just so you guys know. A little, little beekeeping kind of kind of thing. They uh, Once the drone mates with the queen. <clears throat> oh, what's up, Jacob Stone? Fuck off, dude. You're such a loser. Once the queen mates, right? Once the queen mates with the drone, what, the, what happens is the fucking penis, the dick stays inside the queen, right? I, I, there's a certain name for it, but the penis stays inside the queen. She'll push it out, and then another drone will mate with her, and she'll probably mate with probably, I don't know, 30, 40 drones. We don't know. We don't know. <clears throat> and uh, as long as long as she's mated, right, she'll go out and get mated probably with like 30 or 40 drones. We still don't know, like I said. Like Jacob Stone probably pounds Jake uh, David in the Taylor in the ass 40 fucking times. Um, but the the queen will go out, she'll take flight, and once she's made it, she'll come back and she'll start laying eggs, man. So only concern with a queen going out and getting mated here is her possibly getting mated by an Africanized drone and having an Africanized fucking uh, queen in my colony. <clears throat> Jacob, you're such a little fucking piece of shit. I don't, I, you know what, Jacob? You know what's funny, bro? Is you guys just prove that David's a cult. Little cock boy. Why don't you go fucking blow fucking David's dingleberries out of his ass, you fucking loser. The little David trolls. These guys, these guys right here, see this Jacob Stone guy? <laughs> Dude, yeah. Oh man. Yeah, Catherine got mated by fucking Jordan Davy. Just like fucking Jacob Stone got mated by David E. Taylor. Jacob Stone probably got fucking booty banded by David E. Taylor. <laughs> I know where you been, Jacob Stone. You've been wiping David's ass in his dirty ass room. I bet David's got a whole fucking thing of maxi pads probably right in the fucking corner of his of his fucking hey, hey Jacob Stone. Hey, why does why is David's credit report all fucking shitty too? By the way, <clears throat> now you're gonna you're gonna blow David's fucking no, you're gonna blow the fucking dingleberries out of his asshole. You fucking nasty fuck, you dirty bastard, you dirty bastard. Look, and hey, Jacob Stone, David looks like he's about to fucking croak too. By the way, just just to let you know, this little fucking piece of shit. Look at him; he's like four hundred fucking pounds, man. Honestly, this guy's a prophet and he's fucking 400 pounds. <laughs> you do, Jacob. You guys don't fuck. You guys don't scare me, Jacob Stone. No, I know you. I know you blow, David. I know you blow, David. You blow. You blow the dingleberries out of his ass, and then you also blow him. Look, David needs support. That chair is having a hard time supporting you. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, dude, Jacob Stone, I know what's going on inside of the cult, and I know you guys are fucking hurting, and I know exactly everything that's going on inside, so tell David to fucking get off his lazy, fat ass, and fucking change it, why don't you go change his pad for him, alright, Jacob? I'm not Irish, well, yeah, you know, I am, I'm actually part Irish, Dutch and Irish, I think, yeah, Jacob Stone. <laughs> Keep trolling, Jacob, just stay here for a minute. <clears throat> just stay here. I haven't seen you for a while, man. It's good to see you. It's good to interact with the fucking loser from David's cult. Oh, that chair is fucking trash, bro. That chair is fucking trash, dude. Yeah, that chair is fucking trash. It's probably got shit stains in it from Jacob Stone, too. Yeah, that chair needs some steel reinforcement. Jacob Stone's like, I'll go reinforce it for David E. Taylor. Don't worry. I'll reinforce it. I mean, Ken, look at the guy, dude. He looks, he's the size of a fucking a walking refrigerator. Look at him. Jacob Stone, how many pounds do you think David is? Like 400? What do you think? What do you guys think David is? 400 pounds? Hey, what up, Stax? I haven't seen you in a bit, brother. What's up, dude? What up, Stax? David Renner said her wants her chair back. I know, right, Stax? 
<laughs> ah, what up, Stax? I see you, Wob. <laughs> it doesn't want fucking chair back, Stax, right? Hey, it's good to see you, Stax. What's up, brother? Nah, he's hey Stax. Hey Stax, how much how much do you think David weighs, bro? Stax, honestly, you're coming in here looking at this con, dude. What do you think the fucking walrus weighs now, bro? Dude, we th we're thinking between 375 and 400, man. 375, 425, give or take. Yeah, he's got a fake-ass wig. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Hey, Jacob Stone, why is there, why is there a... Uh, why is there an ambulance ride on his credit report, buddy? Huh? Why did David... Why did David E. Taylor... Why did why did David E. Taylor take a ride in the ambulance, man? Why did he go to Duke University? Why was he seen at Duke University at the cardio unit? The great man of God? Why is he having heart problems? 365? Okay. Right on. I know, Trip Nine's got better fucking credit score than you, and you fucked his credit up, asshole. Fucking piece of shit. And he fixed it, and he's got better credit score, and he's fucking saving money, and he bought himself a car with his own shit, David. You've done all your shit with other people's money, including Jacob Stone, probably. I bet Jacob Stone probably donated a fucking lifetime supply of fucking maxi pads to David. No, nah, David, Jacob's just a fucking troll. Jacob's just a troll. No, nah, it's just what he's just what David E. Taylor troll. That's it, Stacks. That was a good comment. No, Dave. Right center wants her chair back, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, dude, he looks, he does. Dax, he looks like a fucking walrus, bro. Look at him. Dude's a fucking goddamn land mammal, dude. <laughs> Trying to figure out how you measure his weight. Everybody's like gravitational pull. <laughs> They'll have to create like a new weight scale for David to fucking measure his weight. Like, look at him, Stax. I got it on mute right now, dude, but look at how fucking just, like, dude, he's fucking hunchy, bro. I know. It's too bad for David that we have, there's a bigger community behind, that there's a bigger community here than there is with David. <laughs> Go shave Michelle's mustache, Jacob. <laughs> Oh man, Michael Michael Stevens says, "Hey Jacob, go shave Mistel's mustache." I didn't want this to turn into a trash talking session because that's that's just hey, that's David. That's the way David talks. Forget you, forget you, Stax. Look at him. Ah, oh, he's so big. I rebuke you. Well, I rebuke you times infinity, Jacob Stone. I could see Jacob Stone shaving Michelle's fucking mustache. <laughs> She's how much you're shaving my mustache, shave my legs. <laughs> uh, and you know what? I want you to. I know he is. He's rocking a fucking turd out right now. <laughs> he's like, oh shit, let me. Oh, he's like, oh shit, there it is. Oh, there's that little dingleberry that's sticking to the inside of my fucking ass cheek. Oh, oh, oh my god. That's the, t that's the Taylor Turd Rock. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> David's all, this is the Taylor Turd Rock right here. <laughs> Dude. Uh, he's all, come on, God damn it. He's all, out, out now, one, two, three. <laughs> uh, oh, man. He's all, that's the Taylor. One, two, three, out now, everybody. <laughs> Ego berries out now. <laughs> oh, dude, look at him. Oh, <laughs> Wait, did we just see that? <laughs> oh, the fuck up. Watch. Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> oh, shit, dude, what the fuck? No way. <laughs> oh, no way. No, he's in the 
fucking maxi pad shift right here. There's no way I was seeing this. No, 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 no. The fucking maxi pad Moses is doing the shitty shift. He's all, oh shit, my maxi pad. He's all, hang on, let me go. He's all, ugh. He's all, ugh. It's all, fuck, there it was. He probably does. It would have surprised me if he shits his pants, man. He did. He went up to fart, dude. I, dude, I bet it crawled up his butt crack, dude. It's probably like coming up his crack. Like uh, when I saw my niece, when I saw my niece for fucking for Christmas, we were out taking a hike and she shit like her diaper and it went all up her butt crack and up her back. I bet that's what happened to David right here. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him, he's doing the fucking maxi pad shitty shift right here. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> he shat his pants. <laughs> fucking dirty master. Jacob's like, now I have to go change his diaper. <laughs> Jacob. Jacob, did you have to go change David's diaper after this? Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey man, that's what we do here, Gerald. Man, we're tired of these motherfuckers. It's I, we're cool praying for them, but they, these motherfuckers need roasted, bro. <laughs> oh man, yo, fuck these guys, bro. Yeah, dude, no, nah, these guys need roasted, bro. <clears throat> nah, these guys need roasted, bro. That's exactly what's needed. That's what people keep saying, dude. You're ro we're roasting these motherfuckers, dude. Do it, do it, roast them. <laughs> David, so I just roasted one, okay. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know. I don't know, Marine. I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's that look, look, look. It's like the shitty shift, bro. Watch, he's doing the shitty Taylor shift. <laughs> bro, let's watch that again. <laughs> look, he's going to he's going to the fucking Taylor Turd Rocker, right? Right. Then he's like, okay, Maxi Pad Moses, here we go. Doing the Taylor Turd Rocker. Here we go. Here we go. All right, Taylor Turd Rock. Now we got to go back and do the fucking. Shitty shift. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, there we go, everybody. Yo, he's laying down. Yo, he's laying down. No, look. He kicks his feet up right here. Watch, watch. Here he goes. Right there. Okay. Yo, no. No, this is... Hold up. It was funny what we just saw, but hold up. No, this is a big indicator of his health, everybody. Nah, this is a big indicator of his health right here. He's laying down now. No, he was probably also scratching his butt cheek, but he kicked his feet up. I just noticed this. I'm glad we're here looking at this. Watch. Watch his movement here. Okay. He probably did the maxi pad adjustment too. The f fucking shitty Taylor shift, right? He's like, oh shit, my maxi pad's all fucking crusty. He's like, I only do that shit through. So hang on, here we go, everybody. All right, good. All right. Now, <clears throat> watch closely. Watch, watch right here. And then watch, he'll fucking lay back. He's shifting into lay down because he's out of fucking breath. His body, the weight of his own weight is compressing his organs, you guys. This is, this is real. David's in shitty shape, man. He's in piss poor shape. Watch right here. Look, he's going to shift. And you know what he was looking? You know what he's looking at? He was making sure. You know what he was making sure of? That this was up right here. He was making sure that this was up. He was looking at the screen over here. Okay. Because he could see everything. He was making sure this screen was up so we couldn't see him kick his legs up. But watch, he's kicking his legs up. One leg. There's the other leg. Bam, right there. He kicked it over. David's... Right there. There, he's kicking his leg over. Poor health. David's in very poor health. Trip9, what do you think, bro? Trip9, you the homie, bro. What do you think, my guy? I know he made the shit face too. He did the shitty Taylor shift, that's for sure. But what do you think, Trip Nine? 
He looks so bad, bro. He looks so bad. He had to lay down. Yeah, he's getting worse, bro. Yeah, he's getting worse by the day. He's he's rapping on heart attack door, bro. Yeah. I don't want nothing bad to happen to him. But he is, man. He's knocking on a door that's... <laughs> David, take care of yourself, man. I want to see you go to jail. Y'all have a good evening. Thanks for tuning into the live. Catch you on the next live. Um, I don't know when it's going to be. I'll put it up and you guys will see the notification. But, um... <clears throat> This is where we've got to everything with David. He's a disgusting fucking blob now at this point. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Not only is, is his cholesterol high, but his fuck, dude, he's, he's in bad shape, you guys. He's not healthy. Y'all have a good night, man. Thanks for tuning in. Ran a little bit longer. Than, <laughs> I was going to stop at like eight, but we ran another half hour. Exactly. If it pays him to lay down, then that means his heart, veins, and other organs are going to collapse. Exactly, Trip9. His dude, his weight is is basically compressing his arteries and shit, bro. Yeah. It, spot on, bro. Y'all have a good night, man. Y'all been great. Dude, the chat was awesome tonight. Y'all, thanks for having fun. Jacob Stone, you're a little piece of shit. And go change David's pad, Jacob Stone. <laughs>